this video we would like to see how we can create modal dialog box in SharePoint 2013 using JavaScript. First we create an HTML page. This HTML is supposed to be our dialog box and we upload it to SharePoint. Then we add an HTML button to SharePoint page. So this is going to be the button that when the user clicks on it, it's going to display the dialog box. And finally we add the JavaScript code to handle the button click to show the dialog box. Our setup is going to be SharePoint 2013 on VM. If you have Office 365, go for it, no problem. I'm using SharePoint Designer 2013 and I'm using Visual Studio 2015 Enterprise Edition. And I'm just using the HTML editor. Let's start by creating the HTML page and upload it to SharePoint. I've already created a file. Let me just open the file for you. This is the file that I have. It's called DLGPX. And if you want to see how the file looks like, it's just a header and some lorem ipsum text. But I want to add a little bit more to it. So I want to add a close button to it. So input type is going to be button and the value is going to be close on click set timeout and it's going to be a function and I would say window dot frame element dot comet pop up And this is the return value of this dialog box. I would say, let's call it close. And the delay that I want to say is zero. This code closes the frame that actually dialog box is displayed in it. I just save it and I go back to my browser to see how it looks like. And if I click on this button, it doesn't show anything because there is no frame for this guy to close it. And now I would like to upload the document. This is the file that I have. I click on OK. And when I click on it, it actually doesn't show the file. It tries to download it. This is the default SharePoint setting. So to resolve this problem, I need to go to SharePoint Central Administration under Application Management. I click on Manage Web Applications. I select my web application and I go to General Settings and I need to enable the browser file handling to permissive. I just click on the on OK. I get back to my website, refresh, and if I click on it now, this time it shows the file. It is important because when you take it to Office 365, you don't have the option to make it permissive. So basically, you are pretty much doomed to use HTML file. If that's the case, if you are if you want to use the Office 365, create the same HTML file, rename it to ASPX upload it to document. It works perfectly. Now I have the URL for this file. Next step is adding the HTML button to SharePoint page. So I go back to my SharePoint site. In my SharePoint site on the home page, I click on edit. I want to add a button. So I just insert web part. I go to media and content, content editor, and in this content editor web part, I can actually insert an HTML button. So it's going to be input type is going to be button uh, value is going to be show my dialog and I just close it. I just click on OK and my button is created and if I click on it obviously it doesn't do anything. Now I need to add the JavaScript code behind this button so when someone clicks on this button it shows a dialog box. There are different ways to handle that. I'd rather do it with the SharePoint Designer. So with SharePoint Designer I go to my master page which is Seattle. I edit the file and in this file, right before the closing tag of the head, I add my script. Script. 
and I define a function I say function show my dialog and inside this function I define the code to open the dialog box so I would say sp.ui.modal dialog dot show modal dialog is my function this function just accepts one parameter which is options for these options it just needs a JavaScript object so basically I just provide a JK I just provide the JSON object with all the parameters that I need the first parameter is going to be title and I would say my dialog the second parameter is going to be width I would say it's going to be for example 600 and height is going to be for example 400 and finally the URL is going to be the URL of the page that I just created right I just paste it here and I make it a relative URL my function is complete I just need to click on save and here is my function I just copy it and I need to pass it to the button that I have so I just go back to my SharePoint edit page edit web part and edit source I would say on click equals I just paste it here and I just click OK OK I click on save and if I click on this it's going to show me the dialog box and if I click on this close button it's going to close it thank you for watching stay tuned and if you have any questions just put it down in the comments and I'll be more than happy to answer if I can have a wonderful day and happy coding